All right, folks, we are at Prairie du Sac. High wind, so I'm probably not gonna use the iPhone unless I actually catch something big. But uh, the water's not that much higher, but the current is much, much stronger than it was, which is good because we're gonna throw some worms, maybe get some bait fish sooner or later, and maybe catch a big one. All right, let's toss a worm into this whirling water mess and hopefully we can get something good. There we go. That won't stick, but uh, it'll flow down for a while and then get stuck on something. Usually not a snag. So we're gonna be good, I think. The flow is very, very strong. All right, I got something. I think that's bait. That is bait. 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 <laughs> Small freshwater drum. Small freshwater drum. A nice triple hook from Richard here, and uh, we're gonna plop him just right in front. See, there seems to be some big predatory fish here. And uh, we're gonna set it in this coil, and maybe he'll take it. Maybe he will take it. I'm sure this is a fish. Started wobbling a little bit harder than just current. Yep, that's a fish. Probably just another drum. Get nothing but drums so I can't toss that deep. Be nice if it was something else, but it's probably just another freshy. Freshwater drum. Is that a drum? Oh no, it's not. It's a bass. It's a oh it's a yellow perch! It's a big perch! It's a big perch. Is that a walleye? No, it's a walleye, no. Nope, that's a little walleye. Thought it was a perch. It is indeed a walleye. All right, second species of the day. Not too bad. A little bit of a walleye here. All right, little guy. Ooh, okay, I can just drop you back in the water, I guess. All right, see you. See ya, see ya, see ya. All right, see ya. All right, not the intended species or the intended size, but I did get a walleye, so we have a nice juicy worm on there again to see what else we can catch. I saw a buffalo jump. Wouldn't mind catching a big one of those or anything else that might be in this water. If it's a paddlefish, I'm probably losing the pole because I don't have much string on this left and uh, it can easily pull, pull me like all the way in. All right, do we have something here? Is there anything on here? I don't think so. Small, small drum. Small drum, oh, yep, drum. Yep. Not, too, not too small of one, actually. Decent one. All right, guys, it's getting towards dark. I have a bunch of bluegill and one shad, which I have on the hook. Hopefully I can get something big. Still got that big drum up there, but I don't know if I'm gonna hook anything with that unless a late muskie swims by. All right, something's got my bait. And that something is not small. What is that? Actually, it's not that big, but what is it? Is it walleye? Oh, that's a nice walleye. Wait, no, it's is that a walleye or a, that's a catfish? Is that a little, is that a little flathead? Yeah. That's a flathead gothelfish. Oh my gosh, I caught a flathead today. Interesting. Flathead catfish. He just wasn't moving. I didn't see him, but flathead. Flathead gothelfish. Very, very nice. Surprise catch today. I thought we were done for the year, but the water is still warm enough for these. All right, flathead. Not bad at all. All right, see you, little flathead. There it goes. There it goes. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. All right. Flathead gives me hope. Maybe there's some more gatos out there. I don't know if that thing fell off or not, but we'll have to just trust it didn't. All right, we got a bigger hit on a worm. Got a bigger hit on a worm. See what it is. See what it is. So far today hasn't been too bad. We got a walleye, a couple of drums, a flathead, and we're just uh, waiting for this coming in. I think it's gonna be a sturgeon. Yeah. Probably a bigger one, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's a bigger sturgeon. That shark, like, it's not a huge one, but uh, it's a good like 30 incher. Oh uh, yes, oh, sturgeon. Oh, stuff. there you go. There you go. Sturgeon. <laughs> Sturgeon. Not bad. We just got one. We got a fish, but however, I think it's a drum. Might be a big one though. Oh, maybe it's not a drum. Oh, dang it. I don't have enough. I might not have enough line for this. Oh, yeah, it's a sturgeon, I think. 
Might be a sturgeon. Could be a flathead, possibly. But I think it's a sturgeon. It is a worm. I just don't want to get... It's fighting pretty hard, whatever it is. No, 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 no. Oh, I do not have enough line for this. Oh, no, it got off. Kind of a sudden switch, but... uh yeah, that was the entire adventure. Richard actually caught several more sturgeons. He caught the biggest ones in the morning, actually. Uh, the ones in the afternoon, I think they were like 30-something maybe, like 35 inches. Not bad, but not huge sturgeons. The one I hooked at the end that I lost, that was big. That felt like a 40, 50 incher at least. And it could have actually been a flathead. It was on worms, so it could technically be anything but it somehow popped off. That pole I was fishing with doesn't have a lot of line, so I was afraid it was gonna freaking spool me. It looks, it felt like it was dragging a dead weight until it like started speeding off, and it did almost spool me. But in the end, the hook just popped out. My hook didn't bend or anything, I examined it, and it took all the bait. So my guess is it was a sturgeon, because the water was around 55, 56 degrees. I did catch that small flathead, uh, but I think that last one was a sturgeon, I did not see it, and like, you know, we. Caught actually like Richard actually caught like five or six sturgeons um, throughout the day. So my guess is that was a sturgeon. I just didn't pull it in. I was hoping for another big flathead, but I got that small one, which means yeah, some of them are still out there. Gonna go to Indian Ford like in, in a day or two to see if they're still on the rock as well. Um, and the water being high, it does actually move some of the fish downstream away from the dam. So Prairie du Sac might actually be kind of fun to fish downstream from the dam. Not sure if I'm going to go again this, this year because I have some other spillways I want to go to. But definitely a fun day at the dam. So let me uh, drop a like. Richard's channel will be in the links uh, in the comments. And I will see you out on the water.